Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So, uh, last episode, we uh, we didn't do a whole lot, but we did do we did do a couple of things. Whoops, that's the wrong button. We did do a couple of things. That's the wrong button, too. We did do a couple of things. We uh, we worked on some automation, right? So now when we go mining, we can uh, we can throw things we can throw things up in this chest, and it'll get sucked down into this enrichment chamber, and it'll get doubled, and it'll get put over into this energized smelter, and it'll come back here, which is where we have many many things, not many, but a fair number of things that are being uh, that are being accomplished, right? Uh, over here we got a heat generator, so that if the, if the windmill for some reason just doesn't have enough power, we can throw some coal in here and we can get some extra power. We got the uh, metallurgic infuser. We did that a couple episodes ago. We did this <laughs> by mistake, uh, but it's all good, right? So since last episode, I've gotten several comments on some things, and I want to work our way through those here real quick. Number one, this is kind of loud, right? Check this out. Boom. And boom. It's not loud anymore. It's not loud anymore. And boom, it's quiet. Y'all, it's quiet. So that is super cool. Thank you, Cal, for pointing that out in the comments of the last episode. Um, also pointed out a couple of things. There are some, uh, you can do some side configurations with the uh, with the GUI for, me uh, for mechanism. That's cool. We talked about these ducts, uh, or these, uh, these transporter, logistical transporters last episode. We made these because we were looking into the, uh, the, the ducts, the item ducts from Thermal. Apparently those are still in development. They're not ready for 116 yet, but when they are, ooh baby, when they are. You know, the one thing that I would really love to see and that is uh, that is Ender IO for 116 because I am a, I am a big fan of the Ender IO conduit system because it only occupies one block space for all of the connections that you have to make. That that to me is absolutely valuable. But we don't have that. It's fine. We'll use this, and it's cool. A um, couple of you got on me about using about using chests. Um, and you're not wrong, right? So we could we could totally use barrels. We could use vanilla barrels, and and those don't require any reconfiguration of the the existing space. Like I had to knock a block out here so we could open this chest, right? We might change those over. I don't know. Uh, the thing the thing about using barrels that that bugs me is that if we ever do get into villagers around here, and the villager has a path to that barrel, he's going to want to become a fisherman. And I'm not. That doesn't excite me. That doesn't excite me at all, but it is what it is. Okay, so now, enough of that. Uh, one of you also said that uh, we can save our coal by putting sticks on a campfire. So let's check that out. Um, apparently, if you put four sticks on a campfire, it will give you torches. I did not know this. Is this a modded thing? Is this a vanilla thing? I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, well, I don't, we're not going to find out about that, but if we, uh, if we get some wood, do I have some, I do have some wood. Um, so campfire, campfire, ooh, what's that one? A boric campfire. Ah. Uh, so we just need some logs, some sticks. We're just missing a piece of coal. Does I have, do I has, do I has coal? Uh, here and here and here. Yep. I do has coal. All right. So that takes care of that, that takes care of that. Put that back in here, do that, do that. Now we have a campfire. Um, where, do, <laughs> where do I wanna put the campfire? I could, you know what I could have done? I could have just gone up here because, check this out. Didn't even think of this. Didn't even think of this. Look at there, there's a campfire right there. Right there. Uh, let's go to sleep, make it daytime. We'll go outside and do this. Go to sleep, make it daytime. We'll see if we can make ourselves some make ourselves some cool things. It looks like there's a bunch of creepers outside. Like no other mobs. Well, there's other mobs, but no, not really the other mobs. Is there a creeper out there? It looks like there might be a creeper out there someplace. Maybe not. Let's go this way. Creeper. Creep. Creep. Creeper. He must be. He must be down underground someplace. Okay, that's cool. Oh, there's one. Hi, creeper. Come here. I could use your uh, I could use your goodies. 
at some point, I'm sure. Hi yeah. Ooh. Ah, darn it. He blew up. That's fine. It's all good. It's all good. But if we take this campfire and we put it down like so, oh, bonfire lit. Yay. Uh, and then we take some sticks. Yeah. What? Did it give me? It did. It gave me torches. I have 39. And now I will have. Oh, ow, that hurts. I have 45. That's cool. Okay, good to know. Don't need to worry about coal for torches now. I don't think I want to use torches all the time for my lighting, but man, oh man, that's helpful. I can't ever pick that up though until I get silk touch, so it's there forever now. Anyway, so that takes care of that. The other thing I wanted to get into today, like we, okay, so last episode we did, oh, we also did this. We made ourselves a, a dank storage and it's full, <laughs> it's full. It has room for more items in there, but uh, but not more item types. It would be nice if we could update that. I don't know how we're gonna do that because we don't have uh, any any emeralds. Well, wait, wait, just look gold, just gold. How much gold do I have? I need eight gold blocks. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough gold for eight gold blocks, do I? 27, that is def that's three gold blocks. I'm five short. Uh, and there's no more gold there. So I guess we do a lot of mining, we get more gold, and, and that'll, that'll help that matter, uh, that a little bit. But what I do want to look at is uh, a little bit more of Ars Nouveau, because if we go and we do some, if we go down here, I think I showed you this already, the mining capabilities of this are pretty good, right? It can mine any, basically any block. It breaks it, it does well, it does, excuse me, it does well at it. Um, but if we come down here and we find ourselves a, uh, find ourselves a mining tunnel, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, a little bit of a frog in my throat. Yeah, so here's a good spot. This is where I, this is the next, this is the next tunnel I was going to work on. So I can just do a boom, 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 right? And it digs and boom, 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 boom. Eventually I run out of mana. I don't have enough mana to, uh, to, to continue mining. So I would like to see if I can recover my mana just a little bit faster. And it looks like there's a couple of ways that you can do that. One of them pretty straightforwardly is uh, is this. It is the it is an enchanting apparatus. It's the amulet of mana regen. It increases mana regeneration by a moderate amount. And it's just a couple of diamonds, a couple of pieces of uh, gold, and some mana gems. So let's go and see if that actually does uh, a, a faster regen of our mana supply for uh, for our mining escapades. Because I gotta tell you, if I don't have to make a pick or a shovel or anything like that, phew, dude, I'm all for it. Because carrying around a bunch of different tools is the bane of my existence. You guys know my inventory gets jacked up all the time anyway. And so if I can do something that will uh, that will make my inventory management just a little bit better, like a dank null, right? Uh, then <laughs> that's a win in my it's a, it's a win in my book. So I, I will tell you this: one thing about this is, unless you're looking, you can't tell your you can't tell you're processing anything. So it's hard to know if you're actually done. Like usually when uh, when a uh, process is done, the noise will stop, and and then you know that you you can you can go and do other things. But it's fine. Uh, whoops, you can go there. Yep. Uh, so we have what did we say we needed to have from the book it says two diamonds four mana gems and a partridge in a pear tree uh four mana gems we have those right here so one two three four so if we do an amulet amulet an amulet of wrath whoops that's amulet of mana boost amulet of mana regen what is the amulet of mana boost? Let's see if we're making the right one here because I have a tendency to, to make wrong things, right? The amulet of mana boost increases the max mana by a moderate amount. So maybe we want both of these. One, two, three, four, five. Five? I could do that. One, two, three, four, five. I could do that. I can put those back in there because I have everything I need. Um, yeah, maybe we want to do both of those, yo. We probably need some more gold. We need more gold. We need more gold. Not for that. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's make the Amulet of Mana boost. It won't let us shift click. That's fancy. Um, so the Amulet of Mana boost was three diamonds. Check. And then some of these, check. Nope, 
that's not going to work. How do we make it? Enchanting apparatus. Oh, we need an enchanting apparatus. So we need arcane stone. Oh, that's a problem. Arcane stone, iron, easy peasy. And how do we get arcane stone? Arcane stone is just, oh, pff, we, we can do this. So check. That's eight arcane stone. Nice. And then the enchanting apparatus. Uh, we just need four pieces of iron, which we have. One, two, three, four. Cool. Uh, so now we can do that, and we can do that, and we can do that, and that gets us our enchanting apparatus. Now, do we put this down someplace? Let's read up on the enchanting apparatus. How about? So, magical equipment, enchanting apparatus. Nope. Uh, machines. Here we go. Enchanting apparatus. So the enchanting apparatus utilizes pedestals and world mana for crafting. Oh, do we have to have pedestals too? Place any number of arcane pedestals nearby uh, with their items. Place your regent items on the enchanting apparatus block and interact with the block while sneaking to begin crafting. The enchanting apparatus will require an arcane core beneath. Okay, so this just this rabbit hole just got a little bit deeper. So we got the enchanting apparatus. That's cool. We need an arcane core. Oof, that's more arcane stuff. Um, perhaps... Perhaps the thing that we need is more of these mana gems, yeah? Uh, found with arcane ore, mana gems. There should be, I think there's a way that we can make mana gems. So maybe that's, maybe that's the process that we want uh, to, get, uh, to get going. So mana gem, um, okay. This is found with arcane ore. This is made, I think. Mechanism, nope, 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 nope. There's a way, there's a way, and I think I saw it one point in time before. Let me see if I can find it in the book, and I'll come right back to you guys. Aha, I found it. It is the Crystallizer. The Crystallizer provides renewable source of mana gems by condensing world mana over time. The Crystallizer can work passively at a very slow rate, or it can be given mana from adjacent jars and create mana gems at a much faster rate. The Crystallizer may also be accessed by hoppers and crucibles. So I think that's the thing that we're gonna want. Uh, we, uh, what did I just say that thing was called? <laughs> uh, the Crystallizer. So the Crystallizer, let's get that in, oops, we wanna be here, the Crystallizer crystallize uh crystal crystallizer hello crystallizer uh is it l yeah i think that's it crystallizer from ars nouveau so uh we just need a couple of arcane stone we need some gold which i think is all we need is the gold so let's grab that we need six of those yes please so crystallizer check uh, and then we need a hopper, and I think I have, I think I have a hopper up here someplace, don't I? Didn't I, didn't I get one of those for some reason or something or other? Uh, here, nope, here, nope, here, nope, here, nope. Eh, let's grab some, <clears throat> eh. let's grab some slabs. Uh, let's take a nap. We'll make a hopper. I think we can make a hopper. Could be able to. I don't think they changed the recipe for hoppers, have they? Uh, H-O-P-P-E-R. Nope, it's just regular. Oh, wait, what was that? Really? What was that? So we can just use logs or chests. Oh, okay, yeah, logs or chests. That's fine. That's fair. Let's go down here. Let's, let's make some stuff. And I think, for right now, I think we'll just put this, I think we'll just put this up in our bedroom. That makes sense, doesn't it? Sure it does. Can I do this to make, yeah, I can do that to make chests. So then we can put those back in here like that and that gives us regular chests and then we can get some iron. Uh, iron, why, you know what, why are we, do, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? We're gonna stop you, we're gonna stop using chests right now. We're gonna use a barrel. So check, uh, we just need some planks, that's fair. Boop, 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 boop. Cool. All right, so there's a barrel. Uh, you know what, we probably do. We probably do need a hopper. Well, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Let's find out. 
We're going to go find out. We're going to see if we can use our logistics pipes. Ooh, that might be a bad idea. <laughs> like, we could crash something, couldn't we? Um, let's put you here. Yeah, let's put you here. Ta-da. Yeah, that works. Uh, let's put this. Oops. Enchanting apparatus. No. Did I make? Yeah, here it is. Crystallizer. So let's put the crystallizer there. Dude, it is, it is draw. That's a cool animation. It's drawing stuff in. Can I do this? Yeah. No, it doesn't look that way. Doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Uh, configurator. Um, got a comment saying that the configurator didn't need to be powered. Yeah, James Stansel, thank you so much for that comment. Said that it didn't need to be didn't need to be powered. Uh, in yeah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. That's fine. Oh well. Thought maybe. Thought maybe. Do I have a? I don't have a pick. I have this. Ta-da! That works. Uh, so let's go back down here. We'll finish making that hopper. Didn't really want to make a hopper if I didn't have to, but I have to make a hopper. So give me five of you. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, please. And then uh, one of you. Yes, please. And then five of you again, like so. Hello. That gives us that. Cool. We go put up this. And eventually what we will get is we will get more of those mana gems. And once we have all the mana gems that we need, then uh, yeah. Then we'll then we'll have then we'll be in good shape. I wish it showed how much progress it was making. That would be cool if it would show us how much project uh, progress it was making. Like that would be that would be good to know because it says slowly in the book. It definitely says slowly, <laughs> very slow rate. So I might be here for a while. Uh, how many mana gems do I have? Because the next thing that we need, like it says here, we've got the uh, uh, the enchantment apparatus. Where'd it go? There it is. The enchanting apparatus. We have that, right? So if we go back here, uh, enchanting apparatus. Um, so we just need pedestals, right? So these pedestals are arcane stone, and it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It takes basically a full craft of those to. Um, it takes a full craft, a full craft of eight essentially to make one pedestal. So for every eight crafts, you get one extra pedestal, right? Um, yes, math is hard. Um, but the enchanting apparatus is there. We got that. We need an arcane core also, which is another six of those. How many do I have? We have three. How many mana stones do I have? I have mana gems. I have those. Uh, how much stone do I have? I have 15. We should probably get some more stone cooking. So we'll get into my, uh, get into here, right? And change that to something that we can actually see. Uh, and sure. We'll do that, and I'm going to go ahead and do that, because I can. And uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and AFK for a little bit. We'll let this stone cook up. Um, we should be able We should be able to make the, at least make the enchanting, um, how was it? what was it called? The arcane core. We can make one of those. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll, we'll let this stone finish up, and we'll also, um, I don't remember how many of those I needed, but it's fine. Um, four. I don't know why I can't remember that. So arcane four. Make one of those. It just it was just two. Oh, we're missing three stones though. I gotta make stones. I have to make stones. So there's that and that like that and then that like that. Cool. And uh, we'll go outside. We'll put this down. I think we're gonna have to do this outside because I don't know how much room this takes. Oh, is that is that a pillager party? They're over here. It's a raiding party. Of course it is. Of course it's a raiding party. Yeah, you guys just keep on walking. Yeah, that's right. Just keep on walking, bros. Bros and homies. Anyway, we'll go outside. We'll do this over by... Do this over here by our... 
by our farms, right? Yeah, that'll work. It says there's a skeleton over there. I doubt it. I doubt there's a skeleton over here. So if we put this down, arcane core, put you, I don't know, I guess we'll put you there. And then the enchanting apparatus will put you there. Yeah. And then we have to put these pedestals all around. So the first thing that we were trying to make was uh, the amulet. Um, we're trying to make this so it looks like that needs eight. I guess I need to find out how evenly spaced these need to be. Um, yeah, that's machines. So enchanting apparatus, dark. Good, good mana condenser. I guess that's I guess that's all I need. Place your agent on the blocks. Nearby it says nearby with their items. So if I were to put say give me something that I have a fair number of. So if I were to do something like say maybe like this, like that, like that, and then here. That's eight, right? I think that would work. We're going to find out because we're going to get more of these. Uh, we're going to get enough of these pedestals that we should be able to, to finish this up today, but it's going to require some AFK time. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I have been super, super impatient. <laughs> um, I've been watching I've been watching the uh, the the gem manufacturer, the crystallizer up there, and it is it is going super duper slow. But there is a way that we can speed that up, and apparently that comes from gathering mana in a jar. Um, and so the what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a mana jar. I think we have we have some of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to eight. Yeah, for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll get those. We'll get some glass real quick. And uh, and then there's also, uh, in the book here, there's also the mana condenser. So the mana condenser gathers mana from the world uh, from things like crop growing and um, and and uh, passive mobs being bred and hostile mobs being killed and stuff like that. So if we put this out in our like farm area, we should be able to we should be able to gather a fair bit uh, of mana. So let's get one, two, three of those. Let's. Uh, ooh, do I have enough to make a hop? Ooh, I have barely. I barely have enough. <laughs> Holy cow! Uh, let's make another hopper because we need one of those for the crafting recipe for um, for the uh, the the mana condenser, right? Um, and then we need some glass. So there is the glass that we need. Check. Uh, we also need. So that's one of those. Cool. Ness. The other thing that we need is we need a condenser. That is the mana condenser. And we should have everything we need for that. Check. Cool. I have no idea how this thing works, but we're going to go find out. And we're gonna take we're gonna take this thing up here with us because again, like I said, I've been watching this for a little while. It's done nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing here, y'all. There's nothing here. So we're gonna go ahead and break all of this. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, I am out of space. I am out of space. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this book away, and I'm going to go ahead and put. Uh, I have stuff. I have stuff to get rid of. Um, get rid of. Get rid of this chest. Yes, please. Okay. Now, now let's go. Hello. Hate these. I hate these ladders. They don't seem to want to. Don't seem to want to work for me. Anyway, let's go over here to where we have crop growth. Right. This is probably all we're going to have time for today. I think I thought we could get through a little bit more of this than than it looks like. But the fact that this is taking a lot of time. Um, I mean, A, number one, it's kind of a good thing. Oh, what is, what do I have here? Oh, good stuff. Um, but this is kind of cool. So if I put this, if I put that like that, right? And then I put this hopper like a so, and then I put the, no, yes, uh, maybe the mana jar, the crystallizer, that would be this thing. Put this there, right? That's the crystallizer, so that's going to give us mana gems, right? And then if we put this thing down, I think we just do 
We want it near crop growth. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here, right? And then we put a jar in it. We made the jar, right? So we put a jar on top of it. Does it give us an indication of how full? Ooh, did you see that? All right, so let's do this. Let's give it some plant growth, yeah? So it looks like every time it gets a growth tick, yeah, every time it gets a growth tick, it, uh, it, it, shares, it shares mana. So I don't know what kind of range this thing has, but cool. And the fact that this is close to this might speed this up a little bit. Like, I don't know that it will, but it might. Oh, dude, did you see that? That was so cool. That was so cool. Uh, can I, can I, can I, can, can you, can you do a thing? Uh, you're, yeah. Put, put some of this away, because we have got way too much stuff in our inventory. Way too much. But that's the story of RB Plays, is too much, too much inventory stuff. I can't, oh, I would love to see this work. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and AFK a little bit more. Maybe I'll build myself a little hut out here or something, and uh, and we'll, we'll come back and hopefully we'll have our first gem shortly. Y'all, instructions, they're important. Um, <laughs> so I've been here forever waiting for this to fill. Right? Notice that this is not the same configuration that it was. Before I had the condenser on the bottom, the jar on the top, and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I was like, boy, it sure would be nice. It would show you how you know how much progress there was. And then I read and then I read the book. And uh, and if you go to the mana condenser, it says, and I quote, um, the mana condenser provides world mana to jars that are placed beneath beneath it. <laughs> Whoops. So I did that <clears throat> and it filled up pretty quick. Like it filled up super duper quick. We have one mana gem in here. That's the first time I looked and that's actually there. So, so we actually have a mana gem in there now. What I don't know is, is this pulling mana from this jar currently? I would like to check and see if there's an animation that shows whether mana is going from the jar to the crystallizer, right? So, um, so I don't know if this pulled, if, if this was pulling mana in from the surrounding environment yet, or if it was pulling mana from this jar. So what we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna break it. Eh. Oh, please tell me you didn't lose all your mana. 100% full, nice. Uh, and then I'm going to place this, uh, let's place it. Let's just place it right. Let's just place it right here. Uh, yep. Any animations? Doesn't appear to be any animations. Don't see any animations. Don't know what's going on. Um, don't don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it says that on the jars that you can use like comparators and stuff to check uh, how much is in the jar or or whatever. It will uh, it will provide a redstone signal. So we could we could set it up so that we uh, so that we know how much is in one of these jars all the time. Um, but just looking at it, I mean, you can definitely tell that it's full. It would be nice though. It would be nice though if it had you know like a tooltip up at the top that said you know fifty percent full or or 10 millibuckets or, you know, whatever, something, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to complain too much though, because this is super cool. Um, so we, we do have one mana gem. It looks like it's going to take a while to get more. Um, and by adjacent, I don't know if that means like within one block. We could try that, I suppose. So let's get, uh, let's get that and let's get that. We'll put this right next to it, like literally right next to it. Oh, ooh, that seems to work. That seems to work swimmingly. Oh, look at that. We just saw one craft. Check a look. Take a look inside here, right? Cool. 
There it is. Sweet. So that's working. Hey, we did a thing today. So what we'll probably want to do is we'll probably want to get another jar. I'll do that off camera. I'll get another jar going uh, and then uh, we'll we'll have it so that we can swap those back and forth. Maybe we find a way to automate that. I don't know if you guys got any ideas on how we could automate that. That would be cool. You know, have it break it, place it, break it, place it, break it, place it, blah, 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 depending on, you know, how much fluid is actually in there. But uh, but yeah, this is super cool and we're going to get We've already got five mana gems, six mana gems. Dude, it's awesome. Is that empty? Yeah, I think it looks, that looks empty. So I guess we'll go ahead and put it back uh, underneath here because otherwise it will never fill up again. You know what? Ooh, hey, before we do that, hang on. Let's go, let's go like this. Boom, let's go like this. Boom, let's put this there and let's put this there. Does that work? If that works, then that's then that's then that's automated, right? Are you close enough that you're gonna get feedback from the plants? Does that does that work? I don't know if it does or not. I haven't seen an animation. There it goes. Yep. Perfect. Seven. Are you growing nicely? You don't seem to be... Oh, it says 1% full up in the left-hand corner. Oh, dude. My prayers have been answered. All right, I'm going to let this run for a little while, y'all. But that is, sadly, that is all the time we have for today. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the uh, hit the subscribe button. Get notified every time we uh, put new content up on the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, the likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff. And we'll chat about it in kind. Don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. Also remember that we stream every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday over on twitch.tv slash rb underscore plays. Head on over to that link, check the schedule, see when we go live, see what times we start, and, uh, and join in all of the fun. But once again, folks, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.